Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mehmu Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on developing a lecturer's management system using PHP Codeigniter, Ajax and jQuery. In my last video I completed all the functionalities of a normal user of this lecture management system and from this video I will start developing the functionality of an admin. Okay, so now whenever an admin gets logged in, that admin will see their profile card okay and in that profile card the admin can see the image and their name okay if admin wants to update their image they can update okay uh, right now admin has not uploaded their personal profile if the admin wants to update their profile then he needs to go to this drop down where an admin can find add profile option okay so that feature I have not covered yet in upcoming videos I'm going to cover that feature and uh, change password feature as well okay so now in this video first I will cover the feature of displaying this profile card of an admin and also I'm going to cover displaying this dashboard where user can see the details like profile picture, user name, total post, followers, following and action details. Okay, So these are the normal users who have already got registered with these applications. Okay, So these normal users details I am going to display on the dashboard of an admin so that admin can come to know who are the users who have already got registered with this application what are their names what is the profile image and how many number of posts each and every user has published and how many posts have got approved and how many posts have got pending uh, to be approved by the admin and how many people are following each and every users and to whom this particular user is following okay so in this video I am going to cover only about displaying this profile card for an admin and also displaying this dashboard with all these details okay so for designing this functionality first you need to go to your editor okay so in my editor uh, actually I had already created this admin dashboard PHP file uh, many videos ago okay so in this video I have just added this markup okay so now uh, you can see here my container gets started and in this immediately after this container I am checking if the user has uploaded their profile personal profile or not okay right now in this case user has not uploaded their personal profile in that case this if block gets executed okay where I am checking if the user has already uploaded their profile okay so if user has not uploaded their profile which is this condition tells you okay if the personal data that personal data will hold the personal details of that user if that user has uploaded their personal profile okay so now user has or admin has not uploaded their personal profile so this code will get executed that's why you can see only this default image okay so now you can see here I have taken column 3 layout in that I have created a panel and in that I have created a panel heading with an admin as title and then I have created a panel body okay. and then I have created an ul with an id users okay and in that I have created a list to display the default image you can see I have created uh, this avatar.jpg image inside my assets folder here you can clearly see that image okay the same image which you can see here and then at the end I'm displaying the name of the logged in user and that username I'm taking from the session okay so now this is everything about uh, uh, displaying the details of the profile card when user has not uploaded their profile image okay suppose if user has uploaded their profile details then in that case I will be executing this else code okay so now here also the same column 3 layout and then panel and then the same thing 
admin title panel body and here if the user has uploaded their personal details then I will be getting the profile image from the personal personal data okay I have to take the data from the table okay in that case uh, user had uploaded their profile image and that image I have to take from the database and display it on this profile card okay so now uh, the same thing here username I'll have to take from the session okay and then this column 3 gets completed here and end if it gets closed here okay and then immediately after that I have created a column 9 layout and uh, here you can see this is what 9 column dashboard okay uh, so this is a panel inside panel I'm displaying the details in the form of a table so for that you have to create a panel okay and and then this panel heading panel body inside panel body as I have said I have created a table and inside table I have a table head where I have created profile pictures username total post followers following in action headers which you can see here at the top and then I have created a table body in that table body I am checking uh, the count for the rows which returns from this result okay so he, this result is coming from here admin controller okay this admin controller also I had created in my earlier videos and uh, you have to come inside this index function and inside index function you, you need to check uh, whether the person who is trying to log in is a normal user or an admin okay if the user who is trying to log in is a normal user then the ID or the level for that user will be 2 okay if the user is whose level ID is 2 is trying to access this admin page then I will take that user to not found view let me just show you that so now here I am on the admin controller if any user tries to access the admin dashboard okay whose level will be 2 then in that case I will display this access denied view okay so that's what I have done here otherwise automatically an admin will get logged in okay so there are only two levels or two users normal user and admin normal user will have the level 2 and an admin will have the level 1 okay if this is not the case then the case will be of admin okay so when an admin gets logged in I will take the user ID of that admin from the session and then I will check uh, if that admin has uploaded their profile personal profile details okay if the admin has not yet uploaded their personal details which means their profile picture okay all those details still I will take other details I can show you that function user model okay so from this tables users and then uh, personal table and then uh, here I have joined two tables one is user table and personal table from these two tables I will get the details and whichever details I find inside the table I will take those details and I will store those details inside personal data along with that I will get the details of the users who are already registered with our application okay so which means these users okay so to take the details of these users I have created a get users function okay now let me just show you that copy okay inside my user model you can see I have created this get users function where I am joining users table and personal table and professional table as well okay so these three tables we are joining in this get users function to get the details of user ID username level follower count department designation user file and college address okay so if we want these many details then we have to join these three tables okay and in the where clause I'm checking uh, condition here I'm saying I want the details of all the users except the admin okay so for that I have made this condition here and then this is simple I'm just getting the data in the form of descending order uh, and this function will return me the details of all the users and that details I'll collect here inside this result and this result and personal data both 
this personal data and result I will pass to this view admin dashboard view as you can clearly see here okay and this information both personal data and result data I am collecting in my admin dashboard view okay so now I hope you guys understood what is result okay so this result will hold the details of all the registered users if there are some users registered already in this application then I will get those users and using this for each loop one by one I'm going to iterate over those records okay and uh, here I will display the user file which you can see here inside the profile picture column and uh, I will display the username that username also I'm getting from the result and I'm displaying college address you can see username and college address and also I'm displaying the post count okay so for counting the number of posts which each and every user has published I have created an another function with the name as post count let me just show you that as well see here okay so now this post count function accepts user ID of this user of this user which you can see inside this row okay uh, I'm passing the user ID of this user to this post count function okay so here I'm getting the user ID okay with the row in the result okay in the result we will be having the user ID of that user and with that user ID I'm passing that user ID to this post count to get the number of posts that user has published okay so here I'm displaying post count and then here you can see post count I'm displaying total 3 for this user total post count are 2 okay and then approved and pending details I have to cover in my next videos okay and uh, here I'm displaying the number of post count and here I have to display approved and pending post count okay uh, and then here I'm displaying the follower count and this follower count also I'm getting from this uh, function Let's show you that get users okay, here uh, yes you can see follower count as well which I have stored inside my table users table uh, let me just show you that mm, lecturers users okay uh, follower count okay so here the last column is follower count so now you can clearly see the number of follower count clearly you can see here so uh, this follower count details I am getting from the users table next is uh, yes following apart from follower count I also need to display following as well so for displaying the following count I have made a function as following and I am passing the user ID of these users to this following function and that also you can see find following okay so now this following function is taking user ID as I have said and with this user ID I am taking the uh, details of the acceptor ID which I have created in my follow table see acceptor ID count I am calculating and I am returning that count okay. from here that count comes to this uh, admin controller and from here I am passing that count to this admin dashboard and here I am receiving that count following count okay and then at the end uh, we have to display this view as well okay so where if I want to view the details of this particular user further details of this particular user then I will click on this view link uh, which will take me to some other page where I'm going to show the details of this user okay so this thing I'm going to cover in my next video and this is the label of that link and here for each gets closed here if gets closed and here and if gets closed okay so this is about uh, uh, designing the dashboard of the admin where admin can view their profile 
card where admin can view various users who have got registered with this application where admin can view the username number of total post and approved post pending post followers and following count okay and their uh, user image as well okay. so i hope you guys have understood how to design this dashboard for an admin okay so, and that's all for this video in our next video we will come up with some other functionality and uh, uh, if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and uh, uh, give us your feedback from comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will get regular updates of my upcoming videos okay guys thanks for watching